A seismic North London derby beckons as title hopefuls Arsenal make the short trip down Seven Sisters Road to face bitter rivals Tottenham. While Spurs hold aspirations of their own in regards to a top-four spot, their primary objective on Sunday is to cripple the Gunners' title charge. Arsenal will head into the derby at the top of the table after thumping Chelsea on Tuesday, but their result was matched by Manchester City as they walked all over Brighton. City remain in the driver's seat, but victory in N17 would pile the pressure on just before the city's ends face Nottingham Forest away from home. The Gunners have quickly rediscovered their groove after a torrid eight days in mid-April, and Liverpool's recent demise means it's looking like a two-horse race at the summit. The Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will be rocking for Arsenal's visit, with the home supporters desperate to see their side earn a result. Tottenham are currently chasing down Aston Villa in fourth spot, but their tough run-in means they have their work cut out if they are to return to the Champions League next season. Sunday will see us lock horns with Tottenham Hotspur in the 195th North London Derby, as we aim to get the win necessary to keep our title push going. You have to go back to 1988 and George Graham's tenure for the last time we recorded back-to-back -back wins at the home of our neighbours, but we'll be heading to N17 full of confidence on the back of our longest run without conceding on the road in our league history, helping us to remain unbeaten in our last seven domestic trips. That's in stark contrast to Spurs who have kept just two clean sheets at home all season, but they have had the benefit of a 15-day build-up to this game. We have played four times since their 4-0 loss to Newcastle United, but Ange Postacoglu will throw everything into this game in an attempt to rekindle their ambitions of a Champions League return. Postacoglu's reign began impressively, as he guided his side to 26 points from the first 30 on offer to top the table at the end of October. However, five winless games followed and saw them drop out of the top four to start a six-month-long battle to regain a foothold in the race for a Champions League place. A huge 4-0 win at rivals Aston Villa in March kept them in the hunt, but since then they have suffered a 3-0 loss to Fulham and the aforementioned thrashing at the hands of the Magpies. A pair of Laboured wins against Luton Town and Nottingham Forest does mean Spurs have won eight of their last nine at home in the league scoring in each of their last 25 on their own patch. But that doesn't tell the whole tale as they haven't kept a clean sheet in any of their last 12 Premier League home games, their longest run for nearly 20 years. In fact, only struggling Burnley and Sheffield United have kept fewer home clean sheets than Spurs. Jureen Timber returned to action on Monday night in an under-21 game at Blackburn Rovers and continues to be monitored as Arteta hopes to have him back in his matchday squad before the end of the season. Spurs suffered a setback this week with left-back Destiny Udoj requiring surgery on a quadricep and is set to miss three months, while Oliver Skip has also been ruled out of the derby after picking up a knock. Having missed the last two games, Richarlison trained this week and will be available for selection, as will Pedro Porro who was forced off with an issue at Newcastle. However Manor Solomon, Nee, Fraser Forster, Foote, and Ryan Sesegnan, Nee, all remain out. Tottenham have won just one of their last six league games against us, with their four defeats in this run as many as they'd suffered in the previous 16. Spurs have conceded 49 Premier League goals this season and could concede 50-plus in back-to-back -back campaigns for the first time since 2015. Up to the end of 2015-16, Arsenal v Tottenham was the most drawn fixture in Premier League history, with 20 of the 48 meetings ending level, 42, per centre. Since then, just 4 of 15 matches have finished in a draw, 27, per centre. We have lost just one of our last 11 away London derbies in the league since the start of last season, W8-D2, keeping a clean sheet in all eight of those victories. We have kept a clean sheet in our last six Premier League away games, with only two sides ever doing so in seven, Chelsea and Manchester United, both in 2008-09. However, we have never kept a clean sheet in consecutive league visits to Spurs. Guglielmo Vicario could become only the second goalkeeper to concede 50-plus goals in his debut Premier League season with Spurs, after Neil Sullivan in 2000-01, 51.
In Premier League history, no side has dropped more points from winning positions against a single opponent than Tottenham have against us, 45. Sun Heung-min has 24 goal involvements in his last 26 league appearances. He has either scored, 6, or assisted, 2, 8 of Tottenham's last 12 goals against us. Brennan Johnson has had a hand in 9 goals across his last 15 Premier League games, 4 goals, 5 assists, with 5 of those goal involvements coming from the bench. Buke Osaka could become the first Arsenal player to score home and away against Spurs in a single campaign since Alexander Lacazette in 2019-20 and the first Englishman to do so since Ian Wright in 1993-94. Martin Adegaard has been involved in six goals in his last six Premier League away games, scoring three and assisting three. Last season saw us claim a first league victory at Tottenham since 2014 as a Hugo Lloris own goal and a fine Martin Adegaard strike saw us claim a 2-0 win in January 2023. That means Arteta could become the first Arsenal manager to win consecutive away league games at Tottenham since George Graham back in the late 1980s. That victory helped slay the ghosts of our previous encounters at Spurs' new home, including the painful 3-0 loss in May 2022, while the home side also claimed 2-0 and 2-1 successes in the other meetings at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. However, a little over 20 years to the day that we won the league at White Hart Lane, we'll be hoping for another incredible afternoon to help try and clinch a first league title since those invincible days. Gunners face bitter rivals and must keep pressure on Man City in title race. Mikel Arteta's men smashed Chelsea 5-0 on Tuesday to take top spot but City have a game in hand on their rivals. The Gunners now travel to Spurs, knowing they can afford absolutely no mistakes. Tottenham will also be desperate to win because it's a North London derby, and to stand a chance of making it into the Champions League next year. Ange Postacoglu's men are currently fifth, trailing Aston Villa by six points with two games in hand on the Villains. Arsenal made Chelsea look like relegation fodder in midweek, with some excellent performances from Kai Havertz, Ben White, Declan Rice, and Buke Osaka. However, the star of the show was Martin Adegaard, who increasingly looks like one of the Gunners' best ever signings. The Norwegian is a sublime player in almost every way, with his ability on the ball matched by his work rate off it. Against Chelsea, everything Adegaard did was touched with class, from his assist for Havertz's first goal to his delicate chip over the Blues' defence for White's second. As well as those assists, he also dictated tempo and always looked to play forward, creating problem after problem for Arsenal's opponents. He started the season slowly but is now one of the best midfielders in the league, and Tottenham will have to find some way to stop him. Tottenham have won just one of their last six Premier League games against Arsenal, D1L4, with their four defeats in this run as many as they'd suffered in their previous 16 against the Gunners, W6-D6. Arsenal won this exact fixture 2-0 last season, last winning consecutive away league games against Spurs between 1987 and 1988, a run of three. Up to the end of the 2015-16 season, Arsenal v Tottenham was the most drawn fixture in Premier League history, with 20 of the 48 meetings between the sides ending level, 42%. Since then, just 4 of the 15 North London Derby matches has finished in a draw, 27%. The big news for Tottenham is that Destiny Udoji is out for the rest of the season. The Italian international has been a revelation for Tottenham, but he suffered a thigh injury and underwent surgery to repair the issue on his left quadriceps. This leaves Spurs with a problem at left back due to the fact Ryan Sesegnon is also injured, meaning Ben Davies will probably fill in. Pedro Porro was withdrawn in their last game against Newcastle with a hamstring problem and is doubtful to face Arsenal. Elsewhere, Fraser Forster and Manor Solomon are out, but Richarlison should be fit after a knee injury. Meanwhile, Arsenal only have one definite absentee in Jureen Timber, although the Dutchman is now training and played in an under-21s game after overcoming an ACL injury. But Arteta could choose to rotate his squad, with the games coming thick and fast.
Tottenham have scored in each of their last 25 Premier League home games, it's their third longest such run in the competition, after two runs of 29 between January 2016-August 2017, and April 2011-October 2012. Arsenal have kept a clean sheet in each of their last six Premier League away games, with only two sides ever doing so in seven, Chelsea from September-December 2008 and Manchester United from November-February in 2008-09. However, the Gunners have never kept a clean sheet in consecutive league visits to Spurs before, winning this exact fixture 2-0 last season. Arsenal have kept a clean sheet in each of their last six Premier League away games, with only two sides ever doing so in seven, Chelsea from September-December 2008 and Manchester United from November-February in 2008-09. However, the Gunners have never kept a clean sheet in consecutive league visits to Spurs before, winning this exact fixture 2-0 last season. Tottenham haven't kept a clean sheet in any of their last 12 Premier League games at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, their longest run without a home shutout since September 2003-15. Indeed, only Burnley and Sheffield United, one each, have kept fewer clean sheets at home than Spurs this term, too. Sun Heung-min scored twice for Spurs in the reverse fixture against Arsenal in September, while only five players have scored more goals in the fixture's history in all competitions than Sun, 7. The only player to score multiple goals in both North London Derby matches in a league season was Arsenal's Ted Drake in 1934-35. Buke Osaka scored from the penalty spot in the reverse fixture, he could become the first English player to score home and away for Arsenal against Spurs in a league campaign since Ian Wright in 1993-94. Arsenal captain Martin Odegaard has been involved in six goals in his last six Premier League away games, scoring three and assisting three. This Premier League clash will take place on Sunday, April 28. Kick-off at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is scheduled for 2 p.m. Thank you for watching this video.